Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Good morning everyone. Today is Monday and we are going to do a toy hunt at this Walmart right here. Uh, it's a hit and miss with this Walmart. It's a pretty much a coin toss uh, at this point. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to come in here and see what we can uh, find, shall we? Let's make it happen. Mm, they got bugs. Look at that. And they got Marvin the Martian. Huh. What else they got? They got LeBron. They got LeBron. And they got Bugs. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see this. G.I. Joe. I do like that more from the Martian. Masters of the Universe. They do have one Shang-Chi figure here. Undertaker right there on his bike. American Badass. Okay, guys, let's go over to the uh, the NECA section because it doesn't appear to be anything really going on over here. Just checking the bottom of the shelves. Yeah, they never seem to have DC figs here at this location. But let's show, check out the uh, NECA section. Oh, I got a vinyl Optimus Prime here. That's pretty awesome. They have a zombie MODOK. That's pretty cool. They mostly got a bunch of statues. I got a Venom's collector box right here. Those look pretty awesome. Somebody's hiding an Ultra Magnus over here, Transformer. Okay guys, let's get up out of here. Um, they do have some pretty cool stuff, but uh, stuff I'm not really interested in. So yeah, let's get up out of this Walmart. Hey, what's up guys? Okay man, we are here at Nine Planets. Um, when I came here, I found a lot of cool stuff. I found a cool Predator figure and what have you. So I figure let's come in here. Um, it's been a month since I've been here, so uh, let's come in here and see what they got, shall we?
story, guys. So, <clears throat> I just got back from, uh, from Nine Planets. I picked up that right there, if you guys can see. <laughs> it's an old school figure, and I also picked up some comic books right there, and I got this guy right here for sale. Nobody wanted him, so I picked him up. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll find something to do with him. I don't know what yet, but yeah, I'll put him to use. Um, and then Mojo right there, this beautiful out of shape figure and uh yeah that's about it that's all i picked up from uh nine planets and uh i'll show it to you at the end of the video what else i picked oh yeah and comic books too i'll show you what comic books i picked up at nine planets as well up everyone it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber on another toy hunt we are at target and doesn't look like anybody really is here that is good and look at that parking spot right next to the carts, baby. Yeah, man. Let's make this happen, shall we? Let's do this. Hello, mama. Checking out all the fine ladies. Let's do this. All right. They still got some House of M X-Men. Alright guys, uh, let's check out the NECA section before we do that. Here's some of the wrestling things for you wrestling fans out there. Alright, let's check out the NECA section. Okay, I checked out the uh, toy section in NECA. They did have the new King Kong. I didn't get any footage because there was another guy over there shooting footage himself. So he was toy hunting and, and probably a YouTuber as well. So, um, yeah, that's about it, man. I got some fire roasted corn here. <laughs> we'll move on to the next door. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, we are here at another Target. I think I went to this Target a couple weeks ago. I don't think I found anything. Um, it is 86 degrees outside. Oh, look at these people, man, bro. Everywhere I go, I don't know about you, man. I live, I live in Michigan. Everywhere I fucking go, every corner, there's somebody on the corner, like, begging for shit, man. It's just, I don't know how you guys, how your neighborhood is, but, man, it's, like, everywhere I go, bro. It's, like, I, I, there's a million things I could say about it, but I'm not. <laughs> so, I'll give you my two cents another time. But, uh, anyways, we're here at Target. We're going to do a little bit of a toy hunt here. And what the fuck is going on over here? And look, there's people playing, there's a woman playing a violin. in front of fucking Target. What the fuck? What song is that? Beyonce Halo. She's got a fucking speaker out here playing the violin. Man, only in Michigan, I tell you, bro. Only in Michigan. So, anyways, let's go up in Target. <laughs> definitely no shortage of NECA figures here that's like everywhere I every time I come in here they always have um, NECA figures they do have the blue rhino alien right here I got the red one King Kong Terminator Terminator more gremlins gremlins make sure nothing's hiding behind there and they got some more of the warhammer stuff they got this guy right here the unpainted one i guess for all you customizers out there
All right, let's check the toy aisle. Space Jam. <clears throat> Got plenty of Shang-Chi figures. I think a lot of these Shang-Chi figures are going to be paper warmers. Transformers for all you Transformers fans. Star Screen. Okay, guys, nothing really piques my interest. Let's get up out of here. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys, and here we are. Um, if you guys enjoyed my little toy hunt, I just really appreciate it. I'm um, glad you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this week I really didn't find anything, man. It was last week uh, I found pretty much what you guys see in front of you. I found a lot of the stuff that I was looking for, a lot of the newer figs. Some of the stuff that's coming out right now, not really looking for. I did find a lot of cool stuff, but didn't really want to dish out any money. I did buy just one vintage figure, a few comic books. Um, these guys back right back here, if you guys didn't see it, uh, any of these reviews, check it out. We'll just go through them real quick. Robin King, Modoc, right here. Freaking awesome figure. <laughs> I definitely recommend that figure. Um, this guy right here, which name eludes me at the moment. Um, 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 um. Ming, <laughs> Ming the Merciless. Awesome, awesome figure. Uh, of course, Superman right here, another awesome figure, this Death Metal Batman. You guys didn't see that review, check it out. I already had this guy with the scythe. And also, I did a few customs as well. These were my last two reviews of my custom smoke right here. So if you guys didn't see that review, check it out. And then I did a custom of this uh, Death Stroke right there. Speaking of customs... Uh, as you guys know, I've been doing a lot of Sharpie uh, tutorial customs. I'm going to be doing a lot more. So I bought some more Sharpies. But these right here are oil-based. Oil-based Sharpies right here. As you guys know, I've been using uh, just these kind of regular Sharpie markers. But I've been using the metallic ones. Here's the ballpoint black marker right here as well. I've been using the bronze and the gold. I don't think I used the gold on anything yet. I'm going to be doing that in the future more customizations in the future definitely because i love doing that guys so ex expect a lot more customs in the future bought some sharpies i'm good to go i should guys show you i'll show you guys uh, some of the classic comic books that i picked up this week and then i'll show you a huge action figure that i picked up as well a vintage a huge vintage action figure so i got these for really really dirt cheap here's wolverine marvel comics presents wolverines and it is actually a double comic book right here ghost rider um i think they used to do this back in the day i think they still do this but let me see i think one one story is wolverine and then the other story is ghost rider but let me open this up real quick because i'm kind of curious i'm pretty sure it's flipped upside down, so... Oh, they put the fucking sticker on the comic book. I hate when they do that shit, man. So, yeah, here's Wolverine. This is from the 90s, of course, because you can always tell. It's $1.50, so if, anything, if you get anything from, like, a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars $2, it's mostly from the early 90s. But, yeah, here's Wolverine. I love Wolverine. I collect Wolverine comic books. Sabretooth is in here as well. Very, very dope. And then 
upside down. I think it's, uh, yeah, you can flip it upside down this way, and then it's a Ghost Rider comic book. So that's very, very dope, man. So it's a two-in-one comic book. Really, really dope. I like that idea. I don't think they do that anymore, but it's a really, really dope idea. So double comic book, Wolverine, Ghost Rider right there. And then I have uh, another Wolverine and Nightcrawler. Look at that, dude. The Young Gods. Also, in the issue, Young Gods. 30th Anniversary, Spider-Man, 1992. Right there. 1962, 1992. That's 30, 30th Anniversary. So what is it? 30, it's been 20-something years, 25 years. So what is he, 50, 52, 50-something years old? Spider-Man is. Amazing Spider-Man. He's older than that, but if my math is correct, probably not. I'm an idiot. But it has, this is another du double comic book right here. Here's Ghost Rider with the werewolf. Ghost Rider and the werewolf right there. Very, very dope comic book. Also in, also in this issue, Thanos. That's amazing, dude. How Marvel crosses over these figures, bro, that you would normally wouldn't think would be, you know, making a guest appearance. Here's Thanos in the left corner right there. I like that. And then some classic image comic books. We have Young Blood. Um, what is this? Battlefield or Trilogy? I don't know what it is, but it's number one. It's not, I don't think it's number one with the first issue of Young Blood, but it's the first issue of Young Blood. Whatever this is back here, I can't really see. But I picked it up because I'm a fan of Young Blood and I'm a, f a big fan of uh, Rob Liefeld and his artwork. So there's that. Um, and I got this at Nine Planets right here. There's the little business card right there. If you guys are in Michigan, I would recommend checking it out. Uh, Sunset Grace, X-Men, another classic X-Men comic book. I don't know if I have this one or not, but it's definitely, um, it's, it was definitely a pickup, man. As you guys know, if I can find some really, really cheap X-Men comic books, you guys know I'm going to pick them up. And then I picked up Lobo. You guys know I'm a big Lobo fan. I don't think I have this one. I could be wrong. It does look familiar. I'm not really for, for sure. I need to go through my comic books. And here is Youngblood Zero. So I guess somewhat of the first issue of Youngblood. It's Zero right there. That's what they did back in the day. Image, they always would issue the comic book as being Zero. Never understood why. And then, speaking of image, I picked up, <laughs> you guys know I'm a big fan of Jim Lee, picked up this monstrosity right here. It is the Giant Maul, massive crossbreed, crossbreed warrior, oversized, exclusive, Wildstorm collector car, totally articulated for ultimate possibility. Look at this, dude. He is freaking huge. Show you how big he is. We'll do a measurement in a minute. Of course, I'm not going to review him at this moment, but uh, here is the size comparison with Moda with Modoc. <laughs> Isn't he awesome, guys? When I saw him in this giant form, I had to pick it up. And guess how much I paid for it? Right there. $20 I paid for this giant 10-inch action figure. I'm pretty sure he's bigger than 10 inches. That's what she said. And he does come with a base right there, as you guys can see. Love this box, dude. So it's actually not in bad shape. It is from Playmates. Yeah, Playmates back in the day. Playmates, they used to do Ninja Turtles. Here are some of the other big action figures you can get. And this is, of course, like I said, from Wildcats. Jim Lee's Wildcats. Here are some of the other big figures you can get from this right here. Maul's weapons. Whoa. Two giant titanium battle gloves. Maul's crushes. And power punches them with his massive fist encased in the mightiest metals found in the universe. Maul stands ready. There's his base to attack all the Dominites and defend the Earth. But yeah, look at him, dude. I had to pick this guy up. And of course, I'm going to do some size comparisons as well because he's freaking huge, dude. So yeah, even though it wasn't a successful, really successful toy hunt as far as new toys are concerned... I definitely picked up a classic, classic vintage action figure, man. And I can't wait to do a review of this guy. He just looks so freaking awesome, man. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased with this week. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We're going to leave it at that, guys. Tell me what you make of this little toy hunt, toy haul, I guess. It's not really a toy haul, but 
I, I'm pretty satisfied. Anytime I could pick up a giant vintage action figure for 20 bucks, it's a, it's 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 definitely an automatic pickup right there. So, all right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.